NATO Air Commander. This is one of the games I'm the most excited about releasing this year. Um, when Mary and I first started Hollenspiel, when we were first getting things together, this is one of the first submissions that we had. Uh, it was from a designer named Brad Smith, someone I've known online for quite some time. And Brad has been working on this game for the last uh, two years or so. Really, Airplane? This is thematic. No, don't stop. This is thematic. The plane game, we got the plane going, it, it works. So, this is a game uh, that we've kind of has been part of, has been part of our story in the background since day one. So it's nice to finally get it out in the world and get it onto your table. Um, so we're gonna take a look inside the box. First, we're gonna look at the box because uh, this is a game set in the 1980s, and we tried very consciously to model it after. The, the graphic design of the 1980s whenever possible. That includes the box cover, uh, the box back, which might bear a resemblance to certain games of the 80s. Um, and it even and that extends to the map that Anya did. So I'm gonna open the box and we're gonna take a look what's inside. We have a rule book, it's 12 pages. The back of the rule book has a sequence of play to take you through every step. Seems a little more procedural than some of our other games, so that's very helpful. We have a sheet of counters with a bunch of airplanes uh, and uh, units and whatnot. So it's our nice uh, counter sheet. Uh, this one actually has 96 counters. It uses a slightly smaller counter size. We could have went with 88 counters and cut some of the stuff, but you know we didn't want to cut stuff. We wanted the game to be what the game is, so. This is what we got. Here's the map that Anya did, and I'll do another video where you can see it's a little bit better, but it it is very 80s-tastic. The, the, she did a lot of research into the way games of the 80s looked and used that research, and it's just, I'm really taken with it. It's, it's really, really kind of exudes that kind of style. Now, one thing that isn't very 80s-tastic are, are the cards. There's a 50 cards in the game. And I just, you know, I looked at some of the, I did the cards, I looked at some of the cards from the era, and I was like, those, that won't do. It's a little bit nicer. And so we have uh, cards, we have uh, objective cards and resolution cards, and we'll explain how that works in another video. But that's what you get in the box, it's a solitaire game. And uh, I'm going to uh, stop before uh, a tank rolls down the street. See you later.